Welcome to tutorial number 173. In this tutorial, we will talk about the last command in the sheet metal menu, sweep flange. And we will see how to locate the sweep flange command and show it in the menu. And we'll have a look at some cases where the sweep flange will work compared to the previous types of sweep in the solid feature and surfaces. Also, we will have a look at the type of path and profile to use to create the sweep flange. And then we will have a two examples using sweep flange and then compare it with the miter flange. So first of all, if you go to the sheet metal menu, you will not see the sweep flange. To locate the sweep flange command, go to customize, right click on the menu, customize, and then go to commands, sheet metal, and here you will see the sweep flange command. So you can drag it and put it on the menu. So we have the last command over there. If you hover over the sweep flange, you will see the profiles or the path. They can be closed path or an open path. And we will make an example for each case. But the main difference with the sheet metal sweep flange that require some certain type of path and profiles in order for the swift flange to work. To make it clear, let's start to make the first swift flange. Let's make a path, go to the top lane, and let's make just a very simple path, straight line, except and go to the front plane to create a profile. If you go to, let's say, let's make uh, an ellipse, partial ellipse. And let's make this point, this point coincident and go to Sheet metal, sweep flange. You see the profile is selected, the partial ellipse and the path. Let's say this line. Click OK. You'll notice. You'll notice an error that only arcs and lines are allowed to create sheet metal sweep flange. Exit the command and if we go for example to the sweep surface the profile and the path you'll notice it will work in the surfaces so it is a special case in the sheet metal sweep flange you need to follow some certain type of profiles so let's edit the profile the ellipse and delete that ellipse and make instead just one line. Exit, go to sheet metal, sweep flange. The profile is this line, and the path is this sketch. And here you'll notice you'll get a similar options, which we talked about before. And then click. Okay, this is a very simple, not, nothing special in this example. So let's start a new part and make this flange. Select the plane, center point rectangle, sheet metal, this flange, and the thickness, let's make it one millimeter. Click OK. Now let's pick the white plane, make a sketch, 
for the profile. In this case, we'll show you that second case when the sweep plunge won't work. So we'll just make a simple profile on the right plane. And let's define it with a dimension of 135 and here 15 and here 35 and exit or you can directly go to the swift flange the, the profile is selected and here we can select the edges as you notice we can select the edges but this case will not work because the sketch or the profile should be perpendicular to the beginning of the path so let's click ok and you will get another error that the plane should be normal to the edge so let's exit that sketch and um, instead make the sketch in that plane. Click sketch, normal to, and select this line, this line, and convert entities. Now go to the sheet metal, suit flange, select this edge, that edge. And you'll notice that you are able to sweep around that edge. And you will you may ask yourself that it might be similar to the matter flange. It is not, there are some differences, so that depends on which type of shape you need. And here the bending radius is two millimeter. You can change it, for example, to five will change over there um, in the angles and as well you can select the type the flange parameters inside or outside and so on let's make it outside and click ok so here as you made the swift flange around that plate and you create a continuous box and this also able to be flattened as you notice over there and here you see the bending lines around let's exit now we will start another part to create a sweep flange where the matter flange is not able to make it. So start a new part, click OK, and select the top plane, and select line, let's make a path. For example, let's make a fridge base. Let's make this present them and define it with some dimensions. Let's make this 500 and this 350. This is the path which we need except select the front plane. If you make a sketch on the right plane it might not work because the plane is not perpendicular to the edge. So select the front plane, normal to, and let's make this shape or this profile. And let's define it. 50 and let's add some relation. These are already perpendicular and here as well. Make 
is equal those lines equal as well and make 25 so we made this special profile without adding any radiuses it will be automatically added when we use the swept flange so now the profile is ready go to sheet metal swept flange as you notice only the swept flange command is available for this profile and the base flange if you click, click on the base flange you will create only a straight profile let's just click on swift flange the profile is selected and select the path and let's make the bending radius five And click okay so we have this the fridge this for example and it is able to be flattened as you notice over there and here are the bending lines Now let's see the difference between the swept flange and the mitre flange. We made this part in one of the previous tutorials, the tutorial about the mitre flange, and later on we will do the edges. So we could do also the same type of box if it is possible to be manufactured by a sweep flange and make it suitable for holding liquids instead of making it by miter flange and then weld it so that depends actually in the type of material and manufacturing process so if it is not possible to be made by sweat flange then it can be done by the mitre flange let's have a look at the cross section of this profile so we have a profile looks like this so let's start a new part to make a similar profile select the top plane and make a base plate Make it equal and define it dimension of 150. Then go to face flange and have it with one millimeter thickness. Click OK. Now go to that face over there, start a sketch normal tool and let's make our profile can be something like this let's define it 45 125 15 let's make this tangent with this and Let's make this 
15. So here we have the profile fully defined. Go to sweep flange and select the edges. And let's make the bending radius to be one millimeter and the flange position outside. Click OK. So we have now a continuous edges without any gaps as seen in the in the mitre flange case over there so we have a continuous wall and it is suitable for holding liquids this kind of profile may be a little bit detailed and can be difficult to be flattened as you notice over there we can go and edit the sketch We can move this part, exit, and let's try to flatten. And here you get your metal tank. Exit. And we can try add him manually instead.